Hello and welcome back to Quartz Light, your car brochure channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Renault Fuego. Welcome back, and if you've got any interest in car brochures, this is a car brochure channel, so do consider uh, subscribing. But anyway, today's episode, the Renault Fuego, a car first introduced in 1980, ran till 1986. And it was a car, um, exteriorly at least, designed by uh, Michael Jardin under the direction of Robert Opron. And really for me, memories of this car was, it was something a little bit different. It was a well designed, looked really good on the roads in the 80s. It was mainly, or very heavily at least, based on the Renault 18, and it had a lot of innovations that we kind of like forget about, which we'll have a look in today's brochure from the UK um, and from 1982. So, there we go, the front page of this 1982 Renault Frego brochure from the UK. Uh, quite a plain front cover really isn't it just with the Fuego badge and that's a reflection down below. Overall the condition of this 1982 brochure is very very good although you can actually see some a uh, little bit of creasing around the edge there. If we look on the back page the back page is actually showing Renault Boutique. Renault Boutique was the accessories for your Red or Fuego, so some of those little accessories you could get on there, for example, things like this little uh, very basic sunroof and different audio options. I always think this was a strange one. Why, in all the brochures in the UK around about this time, did they always have an accessory for skiing? I never really understood that. Apart from maybe it looks quite cool, but really, who? Who bought them skiing accessories in the UK? I really don't know. But anyway, let's go back to the brochure itself and we'll turn that first page. Okay, so we'll turn the first page. It gives us a lovely couple of shots of the Fuego, the rear and the front. Um, showing that really nice design. It was a lovely design. And that was one of the innovations. It was actually... Um, the first mass-produced four-seater sports model designed in a wind tunnel or designed heavily in a wind tunnel um, so that certainly made it a little bit innovative so it looked quite a futuristic looking design as well didn't it there is of course also some text on here which we'll certainly have a look at at this stage as well and it's certainly a little bit unusual. It says, in the rear view mirror, nothing than a red speck coming over the horizon. It grows quickly, very quickly, coming up fast along the motorway. And then suddenly, from nowhere, it's behind you. Flash of the quartz iodine headlamps and it overtakes. Just time to see the real rear tailgates and aerodynamic shape before it accelerates. On its way to become just a red speck in the distance once more. And then it kind of like goes straight into uh, talking about the different spec models. Um, but as we pull out, we can also notice this particular brochure also opens backwards as well on this particular page to show a very long shot. I'm not sure if I can get all this into the shot kind of just about once you open it up see the thing and kind of like there's a pen just to give you an image how long this particular picture is of this fuego the gtx 2 liter you can see how the badge you know these very interesting wheels you can really see that very aerodynamic shape can't you uh, and there is a little bit more um to read on here as well so we will read some of this text which you can just about make out but i'll zoom in on that so it's so it's saying down a street or flying along the motorway the Renault Fuego is easy to pick out beautifully streamlined low profile a large glass area rounded curves everything in it conjures up speed and performance 
It's easy to see that it's been designed to reach high standards of performance. Technological perfection shows in its design. And it's saying there's three um, engine sizes. So a 1397, 1647cc and a 1995cc. Three gearboxes, manual with four or five speeds or automatic as an option and three levels of equipment. So then it goes on to say you have a choice between six versions of the Fuego. The TL, TS, GTS, Auto, TX and GTX. But whatever its performance, the Fuego is above all a source of pleasure. A pleasure to look at of course, but especially a pleasure to drive. Its front axle assembly and negative steering ge geometry gives exceptional road hauling and very precise handling. And then it's giving us a nice image of the rear of the Fuego and you can see all this glassed area. Then it opens up to show these rather interesting seats and interesting interior all in black here but these very sort of thin uh, seats to help more room in the back of course but some very unusually designed seats in the Fuego certainly well designed car overall and then we've got these little uh, more images of seat, seats on a lesser trim um, door pockets places to put things etc and a bit more text which we'll have a look at so it's saying here a delight to the eye a delight to the touch all drivers know that leather which is optional on the fuego gtx is the ultimate interior refinement but whether the seats are in leather or velour cloth comfort is not the privilege of just the front passengers for the renault fuego is a full four-seater car i'm not sure if you, anyone would like to be in the back but I guess we can call it a four-seater, can't we? During a long journey in the Fuego GTX, you'll find out what Gran Turismo comfort is. To perfect this comfort, the Renault technicians have carefully studied the soundproofing and the ventilation system. Everything is well planned. The interior of the Renault Fuego shows that the greatest care has been given to the finish of even the smallest detail. And just by the by, just thinking the Fuego, Fuego meaning fire in Spanish, even though this is a French car. So there we go. And you know, it's quite a hard uh, brochure, this one actually, to uh, do a video on really, because it's such a narrow but very long brochure. But it does certainly highlight that interior and how different it looks um, to a certain degree very French and of course you've got your little Renault badges here and there this very unusual um, steering wheel as well again um, if we pull that over it gives a little bit image of this interior but also some text which we'll have a look at as well so all the instrumentation has been well thought out and planned to allow you achieve high performance this year a new instrument has been introduced as standard on the GTX the cruise control and speed limiter as the name suggests it performs two functions cruise control you program the speed at which you want to drive and without using the accelerator and no matter what the contours of the road the car stays at that program speed if you need to just depress the pedals to stop the system two speed limiter at any time you can program your maximum speed you want to drive at and then you know you drive normally you can't exceed the program speed unless you have to and then you only need to press sharply down on the accelerator so cruise control nothing really special today but back in the early 80s on at least uk cars and european cars cruise control was something a little bit different and certainly a speed limiter is a very unusual feature and certainly I think one of the things it's trying to promote with this brochure and you know a sales tactic to sell the Fuego it was sort of this like four seater uh, sports hatch uh, the hatch making it also a quite a practical vehicle um, 
and hatchbacks were all the rage of course in in the early 80s it was you everyone wanted a hatchback so it's kind of like promoting this with the different seating configurations etc the text here it's saying the equipment for the Fuego GTX 1995cc so we've got a five-speed gearbox power assisted steering headlamp wash wipe electromagnetic door locking the sort of door locking and I think this was actually one of the first cars to have a remote keyless system with the central locking um, someone might be able to confirm that but certainly it was certainly one of the first cars to have that electric uh, front windows rear screen wiper tinted glass laminated windscreen alloy wheels low profile 185 by 65 hr 14 tires and cruise control if we turn the page still further it gives, gives us a rather interesting little uh, image of the Fuego and a view of that uh, slightly different steering wheel on this particular version and this rather light interior. And then over the side, another look at these unusually shaped seats. Um, but mainly we're going to have a look at some of this text on this centre page. So it's saying here, this is the level of equipment on the Renault Fuego GTS or TX is very high. Adjustable steering wheel, remote control driver's door mirror and electric front windows are the signs of the high levels of equipment. For even more comfort, uh, the petal shaped seats are covered in corded velour and the front seats have intelligent headrests. The Fuego GTS now has integral electronic ignition which makes starting easier in cold weather and ensures a better performance at high speed. There's a reduced petrol consumption. Equipment Renault Fuego GTX to TX 5 speed gearbox, petal seats with integral head restraints, corded velour cloth upholstery, map reading light rear wiper, adjustable steering, rev counter, quartz clock, pre-radio equipment, electromagnetic door locking, electric front windows, tinted windows, laminated windscreen. So for the early 80s, it was quite well equipped. When we turn the page, it starts talking more about the TL. So the TL's got the 1400cc engine, 64 brake horsepower. One of the major advantages of the Renault Fuego TL is the pleasure of driving. Its front axle assembly and negative steering geometry and its road holding ability give a quite exceptional precise precision to driving. Combining a certain number of refined pieces of equipment, a touring pack is offered as standard. The touring pack consists of adjustable steering wheel, rev counter, remote control driver's mirror, passenger map, reading lights, pre-radio equipment and a quartz clock. And we get some images of that TL model. And then we get some uh, little images of the uh, engine and gearbox telling us, you know, there's three engine choices, etc. A bit of a X-ray image of the Fuego from above to see some of those interesting little features. Before we get to some specifications, which we'll certainly have a look at now. So starting off with the Fuego TL. And it's telling us it's a 1397cc engine, gearbox, four speed, all synchro mesh with floor shift. And it tells a little bit about the braking system, the suspension, the steering, etc. The tyres, um, spur wheel, electric equipment, capacities, and performance. This one doing 100 miles per hour very basic specifications actually in this particular brochure the ts uh, which has got a 1647 cc engine um, that could have the five speed all synchro mesh floor shift and that particular one having a maximum speed a maximum speed of 
112 miles per hour. We then get the GTS and the automatic version. Again, that 1647cc engine. And if we go to the bottom, uh, we find out that the... Uh, the GTS is also doing 112 miles per hour. The automatic has dropped to 108 miles per hour. And then finally, the top two models, the TX and the GTX, having the 1995cc engine, five-speed, all synchromesh floor shift. And we're getting 120 miles per hour out of those two. And then finally on the back page, the usual servicing, um, repairs, um, the Renault dealer network system and the parts, etc. So there we go, the Renault Fuego. I never drove one, I never even rode in one, but certainly in the 80s there were a lot of them in the UK. They certainly seem to be a good seller. Very rare to see one today. I think rust was the main reason for that but as always if you got any memories of the Renault Fuego if you owned one if you rode in one if you kept seeing one if you liked them if you didn't let me know in the comments we'll see you very soon this is the end of today's episode thank you so much for watching please do like and subscribe we'll see you very soon take care and goodbye